Hey, really quick, uh, guys out there, for my guys out there who are worried about their wives, maybe perhaps reading Fifty Shades of Grey and getting a little too into it, it may be happening. There is a website called, uh, <laughs> it's called youporn.com. They do surveys, and one of their surveys were uh, what women are searching for when looking for sex. So the key words, domination, sex slave, master. Come here. Those are all things that you can find in. Uh, and you think it is because the Christian Grey's. Uh, it's bringing out. It's, it's bringing out the beast and women. Fifty Shades of Grey is that book that uh, you know most girls are, are reading right now, and and that's exactly what happens to some dude that you know totally dominates his girls, and they're all into that, right? <laughs> Apparently, I mean, the book is the first book to sell a million so fast. So, <laughs> on to TMZ with the Obi and Lil Sean Morning Show. We get the latest scoop on. The happenings throughout the week before they go and film their Friday show. Eric! Nice, nice. Hey, good morning. What's going on, man? What's up? Another one to go with you guys. Yeah, man. Hey, um, really quick, dude. We, I mean, we've just been kind of dying about the story with Chris Humphreys being infected. <laughs> I know. <laughs> allegedly. It's a common thing. Herpes is like breathing nowadays. Yeah, I'm, I'm, lots of people have herpes, allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Chris Humphreys? Uh, Chris Humphreys allegedly uh, hooked up with a girl in 2010. Uh, she sued him saying he gave her herpes, and he knew he had it and didn't tell her. Damn. <laughs> Come on. Who hooks up with a basketball player and doesn't use anything? Uh, she uh, did. <laughs> yeah, man. I can see a lot of girls being like, oh, NBA star, you don't have a condom? That's okay. <laughs> yeah, baby. Worst, I'll have your baby, and you'll give me lots of money for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, except or now. At least for 18 years. He, he gave her a different kind of baby. <laughs> oh, the baby that comes back all the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. I just think that it was foul that he was carrying and didn't block it. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh. Well, at least you didn't get dribbling in there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, hey but seriously, seriously, though, really, everybody should be mad at Ray J. Because Ray J's probably the one who started all this. Uh, <laughs> he's, probably, he's, probably the, he's probably the first Freddy. Now, this is this is before uh, Chris met Kim. This was two years ago. Um, oh. But then then makes you wonder though, what does she have it? Mm, yeah. Yep. Now uh, let's talk about Lindsay Lohan owing that very prestigious hotel in L.A. lots of money. Yeah, the Chateau Marmont. Lot, I mean, most people know that it's where John Belushi died back in the early '80s. It's a it's a really famous hotel. Uh, Lizzie Lohan hangs out there all the time, but she's not going to anymore. They have banned her because she left them with a $46,000 hotel bill for 47 days that she stayed Damn, there. Damn, good lord. Yeah, she, and it's so funny. Lindsay always has an excuse. It's always someone else's fault. So they, the, the owners of the hotel sent her letters saying, you know, we tried to get you to pay this bill. You wouldn't pay it, so you don't ever come back here. She's saying that uh, she thought the producers of that Liz and Dick Lifetime movie that she did, she thought, oh, they were going to pay for it. I assumed they would. So she's saying it's their fault that they were supposed to pay this bill for her. And now she's trying to say that if they won't pay it, that she will happily do it because she doesn't want to not be banned from that. She hangs out there all the time. Well, not only that, she also just doesn't want any more trouble. I mean, for somebody who's trying yeah. to keep her record as clean as possible. Yeah, because she, I mean, but I, how do you let someone stay there for uh, over a month racking up that kind of bill, like, yeah. And not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, and we've got. Get we, kicked out. Yeah, we've got we've got the itemized bills too. Six hundred and eighty-six dollars oh, for cigarettes. Over yeah. th over three thousand dollars in mini bar charges. Come on, Lindsay. Of course. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> Five hundred bucks in just one day at the mini what, bar. What is That's it with crazy. her? Like, uh, come on. Like, she's gonna end up back in. The, she's just a party girl and can't get it out of her her, her system. Yeah, she, Done deal. she is what she is, and like it, at this point, it's kind of like that's what she always will be. Yeah. I mean, you know how oh, many Lindsay. chances do you get? Really? <laughs> Can you imagine kissing that mouth? Oh. No, no, for so many Ashes. reasons, no. <laughs> Her and Chris Humphreys will be a good couple. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lindsay and Chris. Eric, you're the man. We really appreciate our partnership with you every single Wednesday, uh, Thursday that we hook up, and um, we right. can't wait to see you on TV, man. All right, love talking to you guys, too. That's awesome. Again, you'll hear him again next week, Thursday, and again Friday. TMZ, Eric with Obi and Little Sean Morning Show, and the, ooh, no, they didn't. Song, Song of the, of the day. day. Up in minutes. You lack energy.